Should we go show them my car? Sure. Let's do that then. Oh, let's put the back. Welcome back to another video. Unfortunately, we're off to a slow start here. So the saber's stuck. Nick decided that he didn't need to move any snow because he could drive through it. And uh, of course that works when you have a truck, but it didn't work for me. So I don't know which one of us did it, but whoever parked it here did not shut the kill switch off. That was me. I didn't want to blame you, I knew it was you. So, to get the hood up to get at the battery, it's an electric, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, an electric cylinder or what, but without the battery charge, you're not able to lift it. And I believe the batteries are on this side, this side or that side, but you got to get the hood up to take the cover off. And with the cold weather we had, I'm guessing that they got froze when they were dead, so got to replace the batteries. And to get the hood, that cylinder disconnected, I believe it's these two bolts. That's my understanding anyway. I've never had to do this intensive of unlatching it anyway. So. We're going to take these off and then see what happens because I don't know if it is these for that electric motor. I have a feeling that it's going to be a real pain to get these bolts back in. Do we have enough clearance with the wall to even flip this thing? Oh yeah. It doesn't go out too far, I okay. don't think. Now it's time to hope that, that was a, these were the right bolts and we didn't drop something else. Yep. All right. Now we get to stand here and hold this. Yeah, it looks like uh, these were the bolts that we just took out. <laughs> yep, that was perfect. <laughs> Which takes that cylinder off, but then to get that back in, Should we're going to- be able to set it down right on that. Hopefully. Try and lower it. I just put it down because yeah, we okay. got a new battery. Nope. What do we um, need, like a stick or something? There's a uh, railroad ties over there. <laughs> All right, set it down. Go down. That's about the sketchiest thing you can do. <laughs> it's on both of the stops, so as long as you don't touch it, it should be fine. That's why you never throw a good pallet away. Well, it is 15 millimeters. Yep. How many times did it take you to figure that out? Four trips. But the ones to get those off, I don't know what size it was, but it was standard. That'd be wrong way. I think we should put a charger on it just to see if we can get it to start. You see how it's wet, like really wet with battery acid? There's no That means chance. it's really good. Yeah. 
So we got the battery cover off on the other side and I remember it was probably three or four years ago that we replaced this battery. So probably not going to mess with it because it is a real pain to get this battery out but it doesn't look like it got froze. There's not a bunch of battery acid on top or on the sides so I'm just going to replace the one on that side and call that good enough. So you don't run a ranch often. Would you like to try? Fumble fingers? Can't be any worse than that. Like very corroded. Got the terminals off and the bracket off, so. I don't get any lighter. All right. Hopefully you just have to replace the one. Don't have to mess with that other side. All right, so last week, Nick was getting very jealous because I had a nice Buick. He, all he has is these crappy one-ton trucks. And he decided to go out and purchase himself a farm car. So we're gonna walk out to the shed here and take a look at what he's got. It's no Buick, so don't get excited, but it's something. Listening move, or is it? No, it's stuck. Yeah. Great. We're gonna have to get your car out to push my car. Not happening. It's something. What? Aren't you gonna show the car? 1985 uh, Cadillac Sedan DeVille. It's not pretty, but for how much I got it for, it'll it'll do the job as a farm car. This seat does not go back, so I barely fit in it. Those ten ply farm tires on there, or what? Well, we already blew one out going through uh, bean stubble, so... <laughs> better than the Buick but we're gonna have to put them nose to nose because I think the Buick will own this thing. Yeah it's like a Sunday church car. <laughs> That's what that thing is. Driver's seat is held up by a ice scraper. <laughs> I gotta drive a thing with the seat all the way back like that because I don't fit. <laughs> about these cars is that the ground clearance is so so high 
we've got three inches to find something to hook on to. I don't think that'll do her. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I said let's just hook it around your back tire and I'll drag you out backwards. There's like a hole with some metal in it right here. Oh, perfect. I don't know what we're on, but... Still think the pallet was a good idea? No, but I mean, I think I'm gonna have to shovel this thing out. You have a shovel in there? No. Yeah, do you think we should hook onto the back end, or is it the same? Probably gonna be the same, but you'll probably find a better cross number to get well, it on. Maybe we'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> no. I could wrap it around the act, like around the, the A-frame act. there. Yeah. Until you get the chain in your tire. Oh, well, that's a disaster. This just needs to come off. Just now, go somewhere in the back. It's all fun and games. turns a slop after you drive on it. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture in the ground. Insane. Just when you step, it starts bubbling up. I'm gonna grab that pallet. Aluminum bumper. Well, it's around there now. Is it going to tear the bumper up a little bit? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and slid around. There's no way I was going forward, but... I didn't even feel like I Well, I slid the front end around, but then, yeah, I was not moving when she did that. I'm guessing there's going to be some people in the comments saying why don't I just move the snow and that's because when we before this we had really warm temps and all of the frost came out of the ground and it wasn't cold enough to put any frost back in the ground before the snow so if I tried to move any of it, it would, I'd just be moving gravel there's no way you can really cut at it without taking a buck of full every time. So I've got one ton trucks that'll go through it just fine. Him on the other hand, not so smart. I was also gonna ask guys, other farmers out there with winter storage and batteries, do you guys unhook them and put a tender on them? Do you just take them out and put them somewhere warm? I'm just curious, cause we've always, just let them sit how they are and it seems like we go through a lot of batteries around here so I just want to get some of your guys' opinions on that. Oh god! Rocket! Rocket! <laughs> Oh 
That poor car. Uh, yeah, we'll probably pick it back up on Monday because can't get a battery today anymore and they're not open this weekend. Alrighty, so it's been a little over probably a week since we last talked. We don't have any snow anymore, but we had some personal stuff come up and just never didn't find the time to do it. And then I think, was it on Saturday? It was too windy to even get the shed door open because when I tried, it was bouncing about three feet from the wind. So we're just gonna get it done now quick. So, because now that we have battery, we can uh, use the hydraulics. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry. You're good. Lift it, it up. It sticks. So go the other way? Yep. Keep going. Bounce it down once. Okay, other way. Damn it. A little more. A little more. A little more. Oh. Nope. I should be good. That damn switch sticks on the up. Yeah. Since we got the payloader running, we figured, figured we would uh, run out to the blue shed and pick up some of the dirt piles that we s swept up last fall and then over the winter. But I'm just glad to have this thing running again because it's such a nice tool to have for us out here. 
sometimes a uh, loader tractor is hooked up to something and we need a loader so it's perfect to have this. Good? Figured better get these piles out of here before get even more equipment out here. That new car of yours doesn't leak any oil or anything. Yeah. Ten days worth, you know. You'll be putting in a quart a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to get a little drip pan to put under it when it when it's parked, but uh, I'll back this thing out and then you wanna talk a little bit. Alright. Got those piles cleaned up. I, I wanted to get that done months ago, but the skid loader's been stuck behind the quad tracks um, and the little utility tractor that we would use typically. I broke that last summer and that's still not fixed because we don't ever need it, which we need to get that in soon just because I'd like to mow with it some this summer and fall for field approaches and stuff, but uh, geez. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but that's insanely dusty. Alright, so we're just going to go over with you guys what our plans are coming up before we're probably planting in a week and a half, two weeks. So, the 180 loader tractor, that needs a quick wash. So, probably hook up the power washer just for an afternoon. Got to hook up the rock picker after we clean it. The bean head we want to get cleaned out well just kind of hand pick stuff off of it and then get that put away um digger yep got a the digger is just out front of my uh, barn so probably gonna hook that up yet today and get that all cleaned up and grease ready to go yeah figure out how many shovels, shovels we're gonna have to put on that thing uh, we got to start the sprayer, get that moved out of the way, and then hook up to the planter, and hopefully get that home tomorrow, is my plan anyway. Uh, rock wagons for uh, rock picking in the summer, not a bad idea to start getting those over here and just make sure bearings and everything on those are good. Yeah, and who knows when, I mean, if it's going to be 80 degrees or whatever, maybe yep. they'll start picking rock after school a little bit, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, need to start moving a bunch of stuff around in the shed just because we have seed coming here soon. That trailer is not mine. I used it to move my dad's uh, motorcycle around. The blade that just needs to go back into storage at my grandpa's. I don't know what I can do with these lights to get rid of them. I put them on Marketplace for free. Didn't get one person texted me, so gotta find a way to dispose of them um my grandpa's truck probably put that in a shed up in the yard but other than just that little stuff it should be pretty easy to get stuff moving around for seed anyway um yeah what else do we got on there Got distracted. Um, what else? Pay, hey, we crossed yep. something off the list today. Payloader. Got that going. Got that going. Uh, I was thinking fill the LP tanks for the that's, forklift because we'll need the forklift nonstop for seed. That's one that I would have forgotten about. Uh, we need def. I know you told me that yep. a while ago. Both, both def tanks are empty, so those have to get filled before we can go. Yep, uh, just grease the quad tracks. I mean, we're going to do yep. that anyway before we start this spring. But Good thing to remember anyway. Uh, check washer fluid on everything. This yep. fall we ran into it a couple times where we had no washer fluid and then it just sprinkled enough to get dust. Yeah, all the dust it. to stick to it. And that was a disaster. 
And, I mean, that's our main stuff. The other two are just administrative things. Yep. So, coming up here, we're going to be burning some CRP out by East Twin. I just got the fire department that's going to help me do it. So, that should be pretty easy. And then, one just, I think it's 0.3 acres down by my grandpa's has to get cut. So, whoever, whenever the, our buddy is going to, whenever he's going to come on and do it, we're going to try and film some of that anyway. I think he said probably next week he was going to try to anyway. So, I think that's a pretty good list yeah. that we got to do anyway. Yeah, I mean, that'll <laughs> take us all of the next week, I'm sure, but yep. before you know it, we'll be planting, so. Yep. My goal is I would love to be ready to plant by the end of this weekend, just because when it, when the, you know what I mean, when it's time, we're not then, scrambling. Yep. I vividly remember last year <laughs> watching everyone else planting, and we're like, Oh we, yeah, yeah, we, we probably should go get the planter out of the shed. <laughs> you know, it was our first season too. So, trying to learn from uh, last year's delays, and mm -hmm. I actually just rewatched the first video from last year ever. And the first day we filmed was like one week ago, or one week from now, last year. So, oh really? Technically, we're about ten days ahead of time for last year, but Wait, all, ten days are way ahead of time. Yeah. But also when we were filming in mid-April last year, I think it was like the 18th, there was six foot snow banks, the ground yep. was white, and yeah. So we it was probably okay that we were behind last year because the planting dates were later, but now it's been warm, warmer, yep. the ground's going to dry out this week for sure, and it's there's nothing stopping us. So No. Nope. One other thing for the list is uh, firming points for the planter. i throw that on there so we don't forget. All right, I'll do that. Well... I think we're gonna probably call it a video there. If you like today's video, like, subscribe. If you have something you want us to hear, leave us a comment. Other than that, you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.